Hello, it is Cherith Fluker here from the What Cherith Thinks blog and podcast. Thank you so much for visiting my YouTube channel. If this is your first time visiting, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate you hitting the play button on this video because there are so many options out here in these YouTube streets. So thank you so much for giving me a chance. So I want to talk to you today about self-care. If you've been to my blog at all, then you know that I am always talking about self-care. And if it is something that you still struggle with, then you'll definitely want to stay tuned to listen to this video. Okay, so let's just dive right into what I have for you today. What I want to talk about is some ideas for some self-care activities. I hear so many women saying that they don't have time or they can't think of anything that they can do for self-care. So I want to make sure to be providing some ideas regularly of things that can just give you that extra oomph that you need to recharge and to just rejuvenate yourself so that you can take care of the things and the people in your lives that you need to take care of. One of the first things that I really love of doing is reading. Reading is fun for me. Reading is relaxing for me. Reading kind of helps me to escape the realities of life. So it is always nice to lose yourself in a good book. Sometimes just a chapter or two is all that you need to just reset and to re you get your mind in a, you know, in a different place so that you can just kind of get back to reality. So if you are a reader, reading is an excellent form of self-care. And if you're not particularly fond of reading books, then maybe you'll find a blog that you like to read. Might I suggest the What Chair Thinks blog because I'm always talking about self-care, but there are other things. Maybe there are things that you like to read about. Maybe it's fashion or beauty or what have you, but find something that you like to read and take a few minutes to do that each day just to get your mind um, in the right place so that you can be ready to go and take care of the things that you need to take care of. One of the second things that I would like to recommend is sitting on the porch. And I guess that will only work if you live in a place that is serene or that is um, not really distracting or if you don't have, you know, I guess neighbors that are going to stress you out when you go outside. I am very blessed in that category because I'm able to sit out on my back porch. I'm able to sit out in my front yard and I have pleasant neighbors and I have a pleasant neighborhood. So it is very nice to be able to just sit out there with a cup of coffee. Sometimes I take my computer out there. Um, sometimes I get up before everybody else in the house gets up and I just go out there for a little bit. It's been cold here lately um, where I live. So it hasn't really been um, an option for me and I totally miss it. I can't wait for it to warm up a bit so that I can get out there Sometimes I'll set my clock for just, or my alarm for just like a 30 minute or my timer, I guess I should say for about 30 minutes so that I can just sit out there, read the Bible, drink coffee, do whatever it is just to get myself calm, ready to start the day or to take a break from whatever, el whatever else it is that I'm doing. So sitting out on the porch is a great form of self-care. It's something that's free. It's something that is relaxing and it's something that you can do right now. The next thing on my list is fresh flowers. I don't know if um, you are a flower person, but there have been studies that have shown that fresh flowers put you in a good mood. So I hope that you're not allergic, but um, if you aren't, you can pick up a bouquet of flowers and just put them you know, on a table or somewhere in your desk, somewhere where you're going to be so that you can uh, smell the aroma and see the beauty that is in those flowers and it'll help you get in a better mood. I treat myself to a bouquet of flowers um, weekly or bi-weekly just depending on how long they last and it really does make a difference sometimes it is just nice to walk in the house and have like I said those fresh flowers to be able to look at they just kind of add that bit of um, sereneness and calmness that you need to to relax your mind so if you are a flower person then that is a great form of self-care the next thing is to take a walk I like taking walks and I like taking walks that aren't like exercise walks, if that makes sense. I like to just take leisurely walks around the neighborhood or leisurely walks around the park. Those are always great ways or walks are always great ways to help you just kind of relax and unwind and you do get a little bit of you know calorie burning out of it you know we don't mind burning a calorie or two around here so it is really nice to be able to just get out and just walk and breathe in some fresh air sometimes especially because we are spending so much more time indoors these days it's nice to be able to get out and just change the scene and just get yourself in a place of calmness and ready to go on about your day 
Another idea is to get a facial. You can do your facial at home. You don't have to go to a spa or salon if you're not feeling doing that yet. But if you are feeling I can make an excellent recommendation, just shoot me an inbox and I'll be sure to give you um, a recommendation of one of my favorite places to go get facials if you're in the Birmingham area. Um, I really do enjoy doing that. Um, I am really careful to make sure that if I'm going to get it done professionally, that I you know, check the credentials out of these people so that you don't stress yourself out because you've gotten a facial and then it's turned your face into something that you you know breakouts or whatever the case is I have had that to happen before so just make sure that you're consulting a professional if you are going to get that but there are so many different things that you can do at home you can buy those facial steamers you can just use a bowl of hot water if you want to add some extra steam to your face to be able to give you a facial but that's so relaxing and it opens up the pores and it just gives you a moment to just breathe and to just get yourself together so you can go on about your day. One of my other favorite things to do as self-care is to get a manicure or a pedicure. And I really love doing that with a friend or here lately I've been doing it with my daughter and it has been really fun. It is our girl time and we just get to relax. We shut off our phones and we just have that time to just you know, relax and to just get pampered and to just, you know, I feel like it has such an effect because it, you also, you get the in the moment satisfaction, but then you also, when your nails are pretty or when your feet look pretty, then you're able to have that confidence that is great, you know, for self-care as well. So it's one of those things that I think has, um, you know, that right now impact, but it also has a little bit of lasting impact. So that is something that is really fun. So find your favorite salon, get your girlfriend or your daughter, if you have that, or a cousin or whoever it is, you know, or go by yourself because I'm not above that either. I will go by myself in a heartbeat and I enjoy doing that too. So if that is something that you think will put you in a better mood, then go ahead and schedule yourself a manicure or a pedicure. Now, those are just a few of different, a uh, few different suggestions that I have for self-care. Listen, there is no book that says that the self-care activity that you choose has to be from my list or that it has to be from somewhere that you have gotten from the internet. Self-care is whatever it is that puts you in a better place. Whatever it is that relaxes you, whatever it is that makes you feel better about yourself. So it is nice and fun to get these suggestions and to hear how other people um, do self-care or other activities that they do for self-care, but you need to find what it is that you enjoy. If you don't enjoy a manicure and pedicure, then that's not going to be the self-care strategy for you to use. If you don't like watching TV, then that's not going to be good to watch, you know, binge watch your favorite show or anything like that. You need to shop around, try different activities until you find what it is that puts you in a better place so that when you finish, you are in a better place than when you started. I hope you'll come back to my uh, YouTube channel for more um, information about self-care. And in the meantime, you can check me out on my blog, www.whatcherrythinks.com. I'll put a link down below and I hope to see you there. I'll see you in the next YouTube video.